Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. We are on video number two in a series of three. This is our Turtle Friends Stampa Stack. We're gonna make this cute. It's time to celebrate turtle. And um, if you're just joining us and you missed video number one in the series, this is You Are Turtly Loved. We made this video in video number one. I'll link you to it below. The Stampa Stack makes three of this card. Two of the card we're gonna make right now, and two of this card, and this is video number three in the series. If you have not seen video number one, I suggest that you go back to it because there is some important information and some steps because we're stamping a stack. There might still be stamp a stack packets in the kitchen table stamper store, so um, I reviewed what our packets include in video number one so you can check that out there and if there are still optional class packets you can go to kitchen table stamper.com shop filter in the right hand menu for class packets and see if there's any of these guys still available all right so this is our card today and we're going to take our card kit from the packet and that kit includes our soft sea foam card base it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And it also includes this little bracketed tag. We do the die cutting for all your cardstock pieces for you. We don't do any cutting of your designer series paper. So you get a whole quarter of a package of this beautiful paper blooms, designer series paper. And we're going to add a little mat to our tag. So I did cut a second one of these bracket tags from the designer series paper. The bracket tag is the second largest one. It's from the tailor-made tags dies. Let's go ahead and just adhere those two together. I'm gonna use a little multi-purpose liquid glue. And then we're gonna emboss our background with the macrame folder. Now we don't do your stamping or your embossing when the class in the class packets. So you can do any background that you like. I really loved the macrame with the turtles. I think it kind of um, is reminiscent of the turtle shell and maybe that's why I feel like it worked so well. So I'm just gonna pop my card base into the 3D folder and then we'll crank it through the Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. For these 3D folders, you'll wanna start with number one, which is your platform run the back of the card into the machine, really snug up the folder, and make sure that it doesn't hang over the edge, especially on the hinge side of the folder. And then you need number four for the top of the sandwich. Let's give that a crank. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't it gorgeous? Well, we've got a nice clean space here. Let's do some stamping. The star of the show is Turtle Friends. And it's a photopolymer stamp set, 17 pieces. We're going to grab a little party hat out of here because we need a little accessory for turtle and friends. In the class packet, you've got a half a sheet of basic white and a half a sheet of soft sea foam. We need those. Our ink pads here are soft sea foam, old olive, and memento tuxedo black. We're gonna stamp a little party hat. So cute. Set that aside for just a second. And then our turtle. The turtle and friends stamp set can be bundled with the turtle punch. And the turtle punch, we're gonna pay attention to the orientation. So feet down, we're gonna punch at the bottom edge of the cardstock and that's gonna give us the best results. I always consult my punch before I stamp. That way I know that I'm gonna be able to reach into where I stamp it. It's gonna be um, effective punching. I'm not going to have to twist or turn or cut things off. I know it's going to be able to reach. So our little turtle is a two-step turtle. I got his shell here and we're going to fill in with soft sea foam and then let that dry for a little bit. We're going to stamp over. It's time to celebrate and it's so cute but if you stamp it's time to celebrate on the wet sea foam ink uh, the ink runs and the words blur. So give that a second to dry. I'm gonna clear away all the ink pads and we'll color the hat while we're waiting to add that second layer of ink. And right, I got my Stampin' Blends here and I am just gonna color this in real quick. Add some colorful stripes to this hat. I'm 
I'm gonna cut this little dude out. Let's do that. I'm gonna use my paper snips and at the bottom, I'm gonna cut right on the line as close as I can get so that it looks like the hat's sitting on the turtle's head. You got a little white border there. It might not look so convincing. But for everything else, I do a little white edge. Just get close to the line, but not on it. That way the eye focuses on the stamped image, the line that the artist drew, that perfect little party hat. And your cutting line around it is not so obvious to the eye then. So if you don't do perfect fussy cutting, this trick of leaving just a little white line so that the integrity of the stamp line is still intact will make you look like a better fussy cutter. All right, let's put that little hat aside so it doesn't get lost. We can go back to our turtle now here and old olive again. And it's time to celebrate. I just love this. <sighs> they had me at celebrate. You can stamp right over the soft sea foam now. So cute. Now we can punch that guy out and set him aside. Last bit of stamping here. I've got my label, everyday label punch. I have a cocoa rose ink. This is a retired in color. Um, we just had a bunch of these retired in colors on the clearance rack. So there's still some Rococo rose and seaside spray ribbons that are up for grabs on the clearance at a nice discount. I'm going to use Happy Day, and this is from the Badger Besties stamp set. I also did all of these cards with the Badger Besties. I did these on Facebook Live. I will link to them in the uh, below the video and in the blog post in case you're curious about those. So I'm going to grab that Happy Day greeting, and we're going to stamp it on our label. This is the Badger Besties stamp set, and Happy Day is right from here. So we're going to ink that up with Rococo Rose. I thought it was a cute little compliment to our um, time to celebrate greeting. We're gonna fit this in as straight as we can get it in the bottom half of our little bracket label here. The bracket label is this everyday label punch just cut in half. Let's bring our card base back in here, that gorgeous macrame and our designer series paper. One of the things that I do with these stampa stacks is I do them based on the wonder recipes. Wonder recipes are six by six, one sheet wonder cutting diagrams. We cut our paper in the first video. We need pattern A, one of these pieces, and pattern B, one of these pieces for this card. Let's go ahead and adhere them to our card front. I'm gonna use multi-purpose liquid glue. And then we're gonna add, oh, happy day underneath the green. So I kind of do it all at once and get it while it's a little bit, where it's possible to reposition a little bit. There's our cute little background and our secondary greeting. Once everything is to your liking, then you can burnish it down. I'm going to slide this pattern A over just a little bit, show a little bit more of it. Um, we can burnish the whole thing. I just love that little tab greeting, like a binder tab. So cute. Now our tags are next. We're going to tie them up with some of the ribbon. This is the denim ribbon, and this is coming back if you didn't catch this one before it kind of retired. We're going to just loop through the tag from the front to the back and tie a nice loopy bow. You get... Um, a portion of it in the class packet. I believe it's a quarter of a spool. Here's my loopy bow cut off of the card. Let's fix the angle on this side and we can go ahead and glue that one down too. I'm gonna glue that kind of where the papers meet. Now let's get our turtle and party hat and we'll pop those on with some mini dimensionals. All right, everybody's sticky. Let's add our little celebrate turtle here. We want to make sure that his hat is well below the bow. We don't want the bow to cover it. It's too cute. And we just fussy cut it after all. And I got those guys on there. Time to embellish with some of these beautiful pierced blooms. Now you can embellish with any flower set you have if you've got the kit, the paper. 
is in the kit. You got chunks of petal pink and old olives, seaside spray, Rococo rose, night of navy. What I did, and I demonstrated in the first video, is I took all the in, the Pierce Blooms flowers and ran them through at one time with the leaves, and then just rotated through each of the colors using the smaller blooms and the leaves from the in bloom or the Pierce Bloom dies. This is the rest of that gorgeous set. This is definitely our supporting actor in this play. Look at all those gorgeous leaves, flowers, labels, bows. But I went ahead and did that at the beginning of my Stampa stack. I and demonstrated it in the last video. After I did all the colors, just ran a bunch of them, I sorted them into these little embellishment containers from Stampin' Up. This is how a lot of the embellishments come. We're just gonna pick and choose from our cut blooms and make some flowers. So from a Rococo rose, I'm gonna grab a couple and I'm gonna follow my sample pretty, pretty close to the letter here. Okay, I've picked out all my little pieces here. Let's glue them and stack them. But before I do that, let's put the cap back on all these little containers so that I don't spill them and make a disaster. <laughs> so we've got two, three flowers that need some layers. I'm going to do a little dot of multi-purpose liquid glue, just a tiny dot on the center of each of the flowers that I'm going to build onto. And then add the little center to the glue dot that's just sitting there waiting for us. And then this little guy is going to get leaves glued into the back of him, little sprout leaves. All right, now our turtle, let's get this guy back in the picture here. Most of my floral pieces are going to go on with liquid glue, but I am going to pop up this biggest focal flower with a little mini dimensional. And I'm gonna add that one first, kind of right at the turtle's toes here. And then we can build around it. So here's our little fancy spiky flower. And there's enough glue there for this one. So let's just touch them together. And then we'll add them on. And then the sprouts, slide the sprout right under while the glue's still wet. And let's be careful not to cover our greetings. There we go, tuck it in a little tighter. And then another set of sprout. Make sure that it stays off the bottom of the card. You don't want to go past the edge. So you have to arrange a little glue for our second flower arrangement up in the corner here. And then this little guy. Ah, oh, we love these. Now we've got. <laughs> We've got these beautiful opal rounds. Let's add a little flower center and a little sparkle. So I'm gonna do one of these big rounds right on this guy. And then a small one over here. One more small one up on this flower. And there is, it's time to celebrate. Happy day. All right, you guys, if you've got any questions about the Stampa Stack, this project, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. For the Turtle Friends Stampa Stack, you can check the Kitchen Table Stamper store. That's kitchentablestamper.com slash shop. I'll link you to video number one, and I'll see you next time in video number three. Thanks for watching.